Hey, Commander. Don't know if you were expecting him, but Darth Rivix is here. Rivix? He's here now? Here and dying to meet with you. Alone. He was very insistent about that part. I made him wait in the operations room, said you'd meet him when you had the chance. But he said it couldn't wait. I have many important meetings today. Let him know that I can't drop everything at his word. I can do that. I just hope he doesn't zap the messenger. Commander, it's a pleasure to see you again. It was so kind of you to find time in your busy schedule to meet with me. Your visit was unexpected. I had to make several adjustments. I'm sure you did. My sincerest apologies for the theatrics. I have news to share that could not wait for a formal invitation. Of course I'm sure! I'd know that maniac anywhere! I could feel his presence before he even set foot on Dantooine. The longer you sit around, questioning what I saw, the more time he has to get away with whatever he's doing in those ruins. Our intelligence officers have truly outdone themselves this time. What was that? A secret meeting with Jedi leadership. Or what's left of them. This woman, Aaron Lanier, claims she saw Darth Malgus enter the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine. He was missing for so long, but it seems our errant Dark Lord has finally decided to show his face. In doing so, he has... deeply disappointed our Emperor. Where's Malgus been? Don't you have measures in place to recall him? We did, once. But it's clear that those precautionary measures are no longer functioning. Whatever fool's errant Malgus is chasing on Dantooine, Emperor Varon certainly did not sanction it. Given the circumstances, the Imperial Reclamation Service proposed sending an entire excavation unit to search the ruins and apprehend Malgus. But the Emperor does not want Malgus's newfound freedom to become widespread knowledge. So, I suggested a more covert approach. And you need me for this covert approach? Precisely, my friend. A small task force, you, me, and a very powerful ally, would be more than capable of investigating what Malgus was up to in those Jedi ruins. A mission like this is exactly what the Hand was created to do. Darth Krovos, your timing is as impeccable as ever. I apologize that I couldn't be here sooner, but our forces are facing heavy resistance in the Tapani sector. I had to implement some creative measures to bolster them. I trust you've been briefed on the situation. We should depart before our window of opportunity closes. You're going to Dantooine with us? I'm sure I don't need to explain how dire the consequences would be if Darth Malgus has somehow gone rogue again. The severity of this mission requires my direct involvement. I'm happy to have an extra pair of capable hands. And I'm happy to provide them. We've waited long enough. If we don't get to Dantooine quickly, we'll lose Malgus's trail. I'll meet you both at the shuttle. Darth Krovos, isn't the Hand meant to be working outside the Dark Council's influence? Krovos is not like the others on the Council. She is steadfast in her commitment to strengthening the Empire, not to mention her considerable combat skills. At any rate, we don't have the luxury of being choosy with our allies. Unless we seize this opportunity now, we undoubtedly risk Republic interference later. Our shuttle is waiting. After you. You go ahead. I need to tell my people where I'm going. I understand. I do, however, humbly ask that you keep things subtle. Remember, we don't want this news to spread too widely. Well, hello.
Hello there. And to what do I owe the pleasure of this little surprise? There's something you need to know. I'm all ears. Darth Malgus was on Dantooine. He might still be. The Jedi know, and now the Empire knows. I'm accompanying two high-ranking Sith to follow Malgus's trail. No wonder you reached out with news like that. Let me handle it from here. You do what you do best. Keep an eye on those Sith, and I'll let Master Saldera know what's going on. Thank you, Commander. We're nearing our destination. A few more minutes, and we'll be planetside on Dantooine. How are you planning to get us down without attracting the Republic's attention? Ah, you must remember, Dantooine isn't exactly a bustling metropolis world. Their government lacks organization, and when it comes to officially sanctioned travel, let's just say it won't be difficult for a small shuttle like ours to sneak in unnoticed. It is imperative that we do not draw attention to ourselves during this mission, Rivix. I hope you remember that. Of course I do. We should have no trouble reaching the Enclave Ruins. No trouble at all. Are you saying something about no trouble? Blast. Our window was small, but I was sure we would be the first to arrive. It takes the Republic military ages to agree on anything, let alone act. I can't believe they've mobilized such a show of force so quickly. Walking through the front door isn't going to be an option for us. Suggestions? Well... Since walking right past those Republic soldiers and possibly scaring off our quarry is clearly out of the question, might I suggest an alternate route? Years ago, many people here scavenged what they could from the Enclave ruins to make a living. Their leaders didn't exactly approve, so they built access tunnels in secret. We'll undoubtedly meet resistance from patrols, but if we find one, our chances of infiltrating the ruins would be much higher than a direct assault. And hopefully, we'll retain at least some of this mission's secrecy. Sounds like a great plan. Well done. I'm glad you approve, considering we don't have much of a choice. Then let's go, before the Republic sends more reinforcements. Other than Republic soldiers, what else might we face in the Enclave? With any luck, not much. The Enclave was destroyed centuries ago. I'd wager most everything inside has been picked clean by scavengers. We'll surely run into a stray creature here and there, but other than that, I can't imagine we'll meet much resistance. I'm more concerned about what we won't find. I do hope Marcus's trail hasn't run cold. 